Hi there, David Kramer here from Caldera WP.com. I'm going to show you a quick demonstration of how to set up the new Slack integration for Caldera Forms add on, which I released this morning on WordPress.org. It's a very simple form processor that takes form submission data and pushes it to a Slack channel for your, for, for your teams to be able to pick up and be able to be notified of submissions. Um, let's get started. Uh, I'm going to implement this into an existing form which I set up. Uh, to get started, I'm assuming that it was already installed as a normal WordPress plugin and activated. And we're going to click on Edit. And once the form is loaded, you can see there's three three fields here: the name, subject, and message. And we're going to click on Processes and Add Processor. We're going to go find it, the Slack one, which is there. Use. We see we need to get the webhook URL, which we can get from opening Slack and clicking Add Service Integration. We're going to be looking for the incoming webhook URL, which is at the bottom of the integration list. There it is. Say Add and Add Incoming Webhooks Integration. We then get a URL here to copy and paste into there. We can then set the username of who submitted it and we're going to choose just Caldero Forms. You can choose it like contact form name or even the person's name if you want. Since it's a magic tag enabled, we can simply just select the person's name. We're going to say in the name, the, the message text, new submission from name, so you can see that as a notice. And we're going to attach submission data to that with a nice green color to show us that we're also going to choose for the channel override, leaving this blank, all submissions will be pushed to the default that you set when choosing your incoming webhook. But we're going to make it dynamic and choose our subject. Our subject form field contains two options, which is general and support. And the value is the channel name belonging to the Slack channel, which is support and integration test. So when they select that, that will be used within the processor and the notification will be pushed to that channel. So let's update that and give it a try. I'm just going to fill over here. This is going to be a general one and I'm going to just say hello and send. And there we have our notice and you can see under the integration test is the hello and the name and all the information. Let's go and send a support one saying help me and send that one and there we go we see it in support and there it goes we've got submissions going to two different channels depending on the subject filled in and that's it it's a very simple form processor that adds a lot of use to a form especially if you're using slack within teams and it's free enjoy